Um, they're kind of a bitch. I'm not even gonna lie. How to balance school and partying. You don't. Like, you're always just, like, drinking by 8 a.m. So, Sunday scaries come around. Um, I'm gonna be completely blunt in this video. You didn't hear from me, but if you're like, oh, like, you must party all the time. Um, like, yeah. Can you feel it? Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm basically going to be telling you guys everything you could ever need to know about Penn State. I have like a fat list of questions I'm going to be going through. If you guys are new here, I just finished my freshman year at Penn State. Um, it's actually like my favorite thing ever to talk about, so probably going to be the longest video of your life, but you know, it's okay. Well, let's get started. So first, I'm just going to be giving like a little like summary. So what made me pick Penn State? Basically, I hated every other school I toured. I applied to I think like 11 schools. I only got to tour a couple because like COVID and things. I knew that I wanted like a big school with like a lot of school spirit because my high school has like no school spirit, so... By transit property, Penn State was my option. Is Greek life necessary to have fun at Penn State? I would say like kind of, yes and no. Later in the video, I'm gonna be talking about like what the weekends at Penn State are like, but I would say that if you are like a frat party type of girl, being in like a sorority or frat is definitely probably necessary, but at the same time, like there is other ways you can get into frats and things without being in a sorority. Basically what I'm trying to say is that being in a sorority makes it easier to get into parties. Like you still can get in without being in a sorority, but it's just like easier if you're in one. Tips for making friends. So going to college, I knew myself like I would kind of like be fine making friends because I'm like a very outgoing person. Like, so I knew that like I would have no issue like going up to someone and being like, yo, I'm Steph, like what's your name? For someone who's more shy and reserved, I would recommend like posting on the Facebook page, like looking for a roommate and stuff. And then also add like a little line at the bottom and just be like, um, by the way, like I'm looking for friends too. Like this is my snap, this is my Instagram, whatever. Because people will definitely reach out that way. Add people on snap, start snapping them um things like that just like make friends over social media before you get to school and then you can like make plans with them when you get to school um also me and my roommate walked around on the floor on the first day and like my building they didn't talk like no one was friends we walked around every door and we were like hey like we're steph and michaela like hey we were like the only ones that like had our friend group on our floor because no one else like went out of their way to like say hi to people so i would also recommend that i also just wanted to quickly pop in and say that the friends you enter your freshman year with are probably not going to be the same people you end your year with um I mean, unless you're lucky, like for me, I entered college being super close to this one girl and then I like met all of her friends. We all became like a little friend group and then I got cut off. Um, why? Couldn't really tell you. So that obviously forced me to like become closer with like my other friends. And now because they cut me off, like everything happens for a reason because I'm like so close with the people that I started off the year not as close with. Like they're like my best friends, my like core friend group and shout out to you guys for cutting me off because I met my best friends. How to find a roommate. So I would recommend the Instagram or Facebook page. Do not room with someone from your high school. In my eyes, it just, like, makes you very closed off. I also, like, wouldn't recommend, like, just, like, hanging out with people from your high school constantly. Like, me and this one girl from my high school, we get dinner, like, every other weekend or something. I thought that was perfect because, like, we had our separate lives, but, like, we also came together, which, like, made it kind of more homey. But I just wouldn't room with, like, a friend from high school because... Being friends and living together is definitely very different. I would just say, like, before you agree to live with someone, like, talk about different things, like, when you wake up, um, like, your schedule, like, what you're going to be involved with, things like that, just because I think those are crucial things. Like, if you like to go out, um, that's a huge one, because if you're, like, an alcoholic and your roommate doesn't like to drink, that's going to present some issues. <laughs> what are weekends like at Penn State? This is a big one, because when everyone thinks of Penn State, they're like, oh, like, you must party all the time. Um, like, yeah. So, basically, the weekends are just for partying, like, for me personally, I don't do my homework until like the Sunday scaries come around. Um, but like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, sometimes like a little wine Wednesday moment, like I'm always out. So first, how to find out about parties. First semester, like no one can rush as freshmen. Like you have to wait till your spring semester to rush. So first semester, unless you like have like frat boy connections, like you're not really gonna have like an invite to a frat because they're very like sorority only kind of. But I would just say like look at snap maps. If you see like a ton of your girls are like at like d -Kai. pull up to fucking d -Kai and try to get in like, the worst they're gonna say is no and you just fucking walk home like at least you had a good time like a good walk with your friend if you see people are at parties and stuff and their snap maps aren't on literally just swipe the fuck up and be like girl where are you at like it's not weird because everyone's in the same boat before people start rushing first semester like you literally walk frat row and it's just like herds of bitches like standing on the corners because like no one knows where to go once people rush you friends and sororities you're in a sorority i'm telling you things are so much easier more fun there's darties everything like that is it hard to get into parties um i'm gonna be completely blunt in this video if you're not like a white individual it's a little bit hard to get into the frats i've heard directly from frat boys like if they don't look like xyz don't let them in just like throughout the whole year like i was just super insecure about like not being blonde and white because it was harder to get into places like people would always question me and be like oh like you're in a sorority like yeah bitch i'm in a fucking sorority like fuck you anyways there's also like three different types of like parties i guess that go on on the weekend so first is the frat parties obviously um they're kind of dicey again like kind of invite only kind of not really just depends if you're blonde and white you'll get in just fine if you're like a minority 
you're not really gonna get in. Most likely, unless you have a connection. Just wanna pop in and say that I'm literally just being so dramatic, like it's really not that deep, but yeah. The second type of party is apartment parties. If you just like know a bitch that has like a big apartment, they'll, they'll kind of like just throw and like you can just like pull up. You just like find out and you just kind of like show up. Like it's kind of like a fever dream. Like I don't know how I ended up at some of the places I ended up, but I just kind of did. At Penn State, like things are very last minute. So like you're not gonna know you're going out until like probably 20 minutes beforehand. And then the last like party type beat at Penn State is bars. Um, don't try to use a fake ID at any of the bars at Penn State unless like you're going to the den. Line Den's like the only bar that I know like freshmen go to. Uh, I went for like maybe five minutes once and then like I left because I had shit to do. But a lot of bitches, guys and girls love the den because you can get in with a fake ID. You didn't hear from me, but you can get in with a fake ID. So next up, another huge part of Penn State is game days. Game days, I fucking live. I literally live for Penn State game days. You understand? Like I look forward to this shit. Like my heart on game day is like, I am just a different bitch. Like I'm living my best life. Game days, they're long. All right, let's say there's a noon kickoff, which happens very often at Penn State. You gotta be up by eight at the tailgate last by like maybe 8.30. Like you need to rally. You probably went out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the day before. It's Saturday morning, you're up at eight. You're chugging that liquid IV. You're also pre-gaming at the same time. You hit up the tailgate lots. Um, a lot of families have tailgates or like some frats do and stuff. Fucking, I'm gonna be honest, you're just boozing till like, 11 30 you pull up to the game the games are just like a different out-of-body experience like everything about a penn state game day is literally perfection no matter what time the kickoff is at like you're always just like drinking by 8 a.m so in terms of getting tickets penn state football tickets are a huge thing i know that some schools like give you tickets for free which actually like makes my blood boil because for penn state getting a football ticket like you literally have to be on your computer by like 6 a.m you get the tickets like you're in like a huge wait list of like thousands of people most people don't get tickets thank god my mother's a g and she got me tickets last year i just want to say get ready to fucking rally you go to the game have a phenomenal time you come home devour some food if you didn't have a chicken basket at the game take the fattest nap from like we'll say like six to nine you wake up at nine drink again you rally you, you're out all night till 3 a.m and that's just kind of how it goes all right going off of that how to balance school and partying you don't in high school my gpa was like almost a 4.0 definitely not even close to that in college if you save like sunday monday tuesday for school and like wednesday thursday friday saturday for partying you're not really gonna perform the best but i would just say like put school first like there was a couple nights first semester where i had to stay in to like study for shit do i regret it yeah but like I mean, your grades are like a little bit important. So like you probably should not just like spend all your life at the frats. My best party story. I was gonna film this video with my friends at Penn State and like we have some fucking whack stories, but I don't know. I don't really have like a crazy party story. I'm gonna think hard about this one. Oh my God. I remember wine Wednesday at, I just about died. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Barely made it home. Shout out to Liv and Brittany. You guys got me home. My best weekend at Penn State, I would say. Halloween weekend, so much fun. I'm not like a huge Halloween girl, but like getting together like three slutty ass fucking costumes is so much fun. I went to my favorite frat. If you guys wanna know my favorite frat, unpopular opinion, my favorite frat is Skulls. No one really agrees with that, but I love Skulls. Me and Skulls just have a special connection. Um, One time I was there and the fucking house was busting at capacity like because no one else was really throwing that day i was like yo like i'm in a sorority like let me in they were like we don't give a fuck and i was like all right i tried and then this guy comes out and he's like yo you know naomi who the fuck's naomi first of all couldn't tell you and i was like yeah oh my god he was like good to see you again like what's your name again i was like oh, i'm steph never seen the man in my life don't know who the fuck naomi is but like we just we rolled with it and it was fine so i got in different wavelength what do you wear to class you dress like a fucking bum like I know at some schools it's like, oh, like dress like a cute little art hoe, like have my tote bag, my like mom jeans at Penn State. I'm sorry, but like people don't do that. Like I've maybe seen like five nice outfits in my life. Um, you wear like, in the spring, you wear like Lululemon shirts, running shorts, running shoes. In the winter, you wear sweats or leggings, like a big ass sweatshirt and again running shoes slippers i've worn slippers to class way too many times i might have to walk a mile across campus to class but i will still be wearing slippers and dressed like a bum <laughs> everyone's just like always hung over so like there's just no need to like try what is the dating scene like in college so at penn state i know some people date i just wouldn't recommend dating your freshman year because it just like ties you down and like your boyfriend's not going to get into the frats so like i've just heard too many stories of people that date freshman year and their boyfriends that like don't go to the frats are overprotective like geeking the fuck out like oh you're at the frats like you're dating another guy probably not happening like they just always assume you're cheating um also just don't date frat guys like wouldn't recommend where should you live as a freshman at penn state um most freshmen live in east renovated um i didn't get east renovated we're not going to talk about it. the day I found out i was in pollock i actually cried like i was bawling my eyes out insert video here yeah! 
Um, it was not really my best moment, but I ended up loving Pollock. Pollock really humbles you because it's unrenovated. East renovated is super fucking nice, but it's so far from literally everything. Like for me, my walk to class was like max 15 minutes from East. You're looking at like 30 minutes every day. East renovated is great because like you meet friends and stuff, like the floors are co-ed, all that, but like Pollock is good for like everything else, like their food's better. Nonetheless, when it comes time to pick your dorm, I still would pick East renovated. Is college harder than high school? Yes. Tips for getting into Smeal. I would just, okay, so Smeal is like a really good business school that's at Penn State. If you're in Smeal, like you're just better than everyone else basically. Um, I know a lot of people apply for Smeal and then don't get into Penn State. And they're like, why didn't I get in? Like it's Penn State, like because you apply for Smeal. I would say apply undecided and then declare your major in Smeal later in life. Favorite frat, I already shared, it's Skulls. I would say Skulls is my favorite frat at night and then for day longs, I love DU. DU is so much fun. Um, they have the most fun day longs. They have such good mixies. Um, tips for rushing a sorority. I probably will make an entire video about this, but just don't go in with an expectation. Like, if you're like, I'm gonna be in Kappa and only Kappa, Kappa's like the top uh, sorority at Penn State, technically. Um, and you don't get a bid back from Kappa, like, you're gonna be upset. So go in not having an expectation. Like, I know so, so many girls that went in thinking, like, I want a top tier sorority, and they ended up hating them, and like, they're in like a mid to low tier, and they're like living their best life because. You know, it's not all about the name. Like, I feel like I hate when people join a sorority for the name of it. Like, that's literally the dumbest thing ever. And that just sounds like me being butthurt. But I swear to God, like, joining a sorority just to be like, I'm in Kappa. Like, that's stupid. That's stupid as fuck. It's always those people that end up dropping. Because, like, unless you truly resonate with those top sorority's values, like, don't join it. Like, it's dumb as fuck. How to avoid the freshman 15. I'm so, so thankful that I did not gain the freshman 15. I actually lost weight and I gained a shit ton of muscle. So like, uh, if you know, you know, I've been going to the gym a fucking shit ton. But just like be conscious about what you're eating like at the dining hall, you know, try to make some healthy decisions. Like maybe only get fries like three times a week instead of like seven days a week. <sighs> I don't know. I just think the freshman 15 is kind of like inevitable if you don't go out of your way to stop it. That's the other thing. Drunk food really just kills you. I know, I'm gonna go around back. When you hit a fucking DP dough, I was actually like their number one customer, like no fucking cap. I just spent all my money there and like, it's just not healthy. Favorite thing about Penn State, the spirit, like the fact that anywhere I go, I could be in fucking Bumblefuck, South Dakota and people would be like, we are. Like I, I love that. Like anyone will tell you, like I eat, sleep and breathe this school. I could not imagine going anywhere else. Like that sounds disgusting for me to say, but like the thought of going to a school without 40,000 kids, without, we are the number one alumni network in the world. Meaning that basically, anywhere I apply for a job, I'm gonna find like a fucking Penn State alum and I love that. We're gonna go back to my old spot actually because the lighting sucks here. But least favorite thing about Penn State, I would say scheduling for classes is a bitch because again, there's 40,000 people. Your classes will fill up so quickly, especially as a freshman, like scheduling goes based off credit. So as a freshman, you have like the least amount of credits obviously. Um, so like, you're not gonna get your number one class choices. It kind of sucks, but it's just kind of like what happens. Anyways. What happens if you hate your college? This is just a general question. I would just say stick it out for the one year. First semester, I know so many girls in my sorority specifically hated Penn State. They joined a sorority, they love it now. So I would just say like, give it a shot. You gotta give it two semesters. That sounds like a long ass time, but I'm telling you like the year flies by. What happens if you get homesick slash did I get homesick? No, I did not get homesick at all. Like I'm telling you like I love, I live for this school. Like the thought of being in my hometown right now is like actually making me want to puke. Nonetheless, I don't really know. Like I really, I girly, I don't know how to help you with that one. Like it's just gotta kind of like take the L I think. Like I don't know. How to navigate living in a dorm with an RA and rules and shit like that. My RA, thank God, was super chill. Um, Loved her so much. If you have a dickhead RA, just like respect them. Like my RA definitely got like in trouble a couple times for throwing parties like when they were not permitted. Cause like there's this thing called quiet hours meaning like you can't throw parties or like you can't be loud during certain hours. I would kind of like not listen to those. And like me and my friends would always throw like dorm parties and shit when we didn't have frats to go to. I'm not gonna say the analogy like suck their dick, but like dick eat them so hard. I can't use these analogies. What's like another word for dick eating? I don't even know. Like. You know what, like, just like ride their fucking, you know what I mean? Like, suck up to them so hard because it'll be worthwhile. Like, if you get caught having alcohol in your room or something, and like, you and your RA are homies, like, you're fine. How bad are the communal bathrooms? First day, was kind of about to cry and like, wanted to go home immediately, but they definitely take some getting used to. I would just say they clean up after yourself, like, it's fine. Like, it's really not that bad. Just like, get shower shoes and like, you're literally fine. How's the food? The food? Honestly, isn't bad. I've heard the East Dining Hall, which is like where all the freshmen live, is ass. The Pollock one is like known to be the best, which is like I lived in Pollock. I lived in Shoals Hall, if you wanted to know. Um, Shoals Hall 415, go hit her up. It's the best dorm ever. So I'd say top three. I would say the hub is good for like everything. Like they have like chicken salad, burrito bowls. Like they have grilled cheese, Jamba juice. 
literally everything you could ever want at the hub, but it's just like you don't get a discount from your meal plan with that. Donning Hall, Pollock is probably the best. Um, and then for like etc. food, like East and South have like these like little restaurants and shit. Not restaurants, just like little like food places that are kind of like the hub. Like you like order off like a screen and shit, and then you like get your food. I don't know how to describe it. There's like a pizza and pasta place. There's a sub place like with wraps and shit. Um, there's like a chicken finger burger type beat. There's like a Mexican burrito bowl type place. It's not that good, honestly. It's what's it called? Fresco Caliente. Don't recommend, honestly. It's overhyped. Um, there's like a acai bowl place. Like those places in South are so good because literally you get a 65% off discount, I'm pretty sure. So like I can get a wrap for $3. Honestly, if you live in Pollock or South, walk to South for dinner every night because like you will save so much money on your, on your meal plan. Also, every side of campus, like North, West, South, Pollock, and East, they all have like little markets, which is like a fucking Wawa. It's the best thing ever. You got like some frozen food, you get ice cream, you get drinks, you get energy drinks, you get muscle milks, which is my favorite thing of all time. Um, you get like wraps, fruit, yogurt, cereal, cleaning products, like anything you could ever need last minute is at those markets. So like they're they're fantastic, like they're phenomenal. How to get involved on campus. The second you commit to Penn State, start looking into clubs and things. Obviously like everyone's like, ah, join a sorority, that's great and all, but like, if you wanna like make yourself a well-rounded individual, you gotta do like more than your sorority, I'm gonna be honest. Like I love my sorority bitches, but you gotta join clubs for your major. So for me, I'm a PR major, PR advertising, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, in the College of Comms. I looked up Penn State Communications Clubs, so many. I am in, so first semester I was in PRSSA, Ad PR Club, her campus at Penn State, and Happy Valley Com. I ended up loving all of them, but I was like, all right, four clubs is a little bit much. It was, obviously like I could have balanced it if I really wanted to, but like I dropped two of them. So I dropped PRSSA and I dropped Ad PR Club because I felt like those weren't like giving me the most balance. And then the two clubs I am in are Happy Valley Com, which is like the most phenomenal club. If you are anything, marketing, communications, advertising, public relations, broadcast fucking journalism, like anything like that, join Happy Valley Com because like you have a client and like you work with them to do like real world marketing shit and it's so helpful like i've learned an insane amount of stuff being in it for two semesters um and then i'm also in her campus at penn state which is not just for like comm majors it's for like literally anyone um but a lot of comm majors are in it and so for them you like it's like a little like blog typey but i don't like to do shit like that so i do their graphic design i'm drenched in sweat and i have five minutes before i have to pick up my brother you learn so 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 much by joining clubs and things and like honestly there's so many other things besides just like clubs for your major like i know a lot of people do like thon orgs a ton of people meet new friends that way that's also another way to meet friends is join a thon org the second you get to campus like throw yourself into different things because you'll meet so many people and you're not gonna regret it like if you hate all of them just fucking drop them and you're fine but like at least you tried your best some of my friends are not doing shit and like they wonder why they're not happy like because you're not doing anything how are the winters at penn state um, they're kind of a bitch. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, my answer for this was way too, like, long and drawn out. So I'm just gonna, like, reiterate it now in short words. But basically, you just, like, need to invest in a good coat. Like, if you're coming from, like, the East Coast, like, I'm from Jersey. The winters are, like, literally, like, the exact same. But just, like, the difference is that, like, you're walking everywhere instead of, like, driving places. So definitely, like, invest in a good coat. Everyone has, like, Canada Gooses. I have one from Eddie Bauer. It was, like, $300, I think. Which is, like... I've never ever been cold in it. So I think like, like the more you pay for your coat, like it's actually gonna like pay off. So get a good coat. Is the big school overwhelming? No, cause I, I love it. Like I can go to school, fucking name drop first and last, like frat men and like, they're not gonna know. Like me and my friends sit in the fucking hub, the dining hall anywhere. And we talk shit about bitches. And like, they're never gonna know because no one knows each other. Like it's so nice how like, because the school is so big, like, no one knows each other and it's like the best thing ever because if you fucking trip on the fucking hub stairs in front of a sneaky link <clears throat> um you're fine because like you probably won't see them again it's okay anyways is it hard to get around campus no like the campus is kind of like a big circle like it's like north east west pollock and then in the back is like south use your google maps on like the first day of classes like i know people are like oh, like map out your classes don't fucking do that it's a waste of your time like you could be out fucking slanging bitches but instead like you're walking your classes like don't do that make sure when you're signing up for classes that your classes are not like too far apart or like too close in time so like you have time to walk across campus i would say like have at least 20 minutes in between each class or else like you might be fucked last but not least do you have a lot of downtime or are you always going 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 in college i would say you're kind of always going like coming home i'm not gonna lie is like a little bit nice for like the first like 24 hours because you're always with your friends you're always like out doing shit fucking being like menaces but like you generally are like me and my friends did the wackest fucking shit during the past year like just make sure like you keep time for yourself to like decompress and then also i just want to talk about this quickly penn state gyms 
Nothing will ever fucking beat those bitches. So good. I came home. I went to the YMCA and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's ratchet. It's ghetto. It's packed. Go to the fucking IM building at 6 a.m. It'll be your best friend. You feel so good about yourself. They have, like, free classes and stuff. I never did any of their classes, but I want to try, like, a bunch of their classes. Like, their hit classes, their cardio classes, like, next year. So, I will be doing that. There's three gyms on campus. There's the IM building, which, in my eyes, is the nicest. Then, I would say the second nicest is probably the West building or, like, the Heifer or whatever the fuck it's called. I've never been there, but it looks really nice. Um, and then, lastly, there's the White building. Don't go. It's the closest one to Pollock and South. Don't go. There's no mirrors. I'm a narcissist. Like, I like to fucking look at myself when I'm working out. The idea of not having a mirror when I'm working out doesn't sit well with me. Oh my god, I know that girl. I need to go. All right, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have more questions, comment them below. Um, I would love to do a part two. Again, I live for talking about my school. I fucking love it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time I upload. Peace out. This